Hey everyone, today I want to show you a, a cool trick in Google Sheets if you're trying to do a VLOOKUP with multiple criteria. A lot of times when you're trying to look something up with multiple, multiple criteria, it's easier to use a SUMIF or a SUMIFS function. If you're trying to pull numbers, I mean that's that's easier and it's definitely the way to go. However, uh, one of the limitations of SUMIF functions in uh, Google Sheets is that you're not going to be able to pull text. So we have a table here that has couple different criteria with a name and a location and we want to know if they've completed the training is our, our sample data here but a sum if wouldn't pull that data because it again it's not numerical so and again if I was to view look up we've got you know four or five Johns in this data here and so you just you don't know what's going to be pulling so there's an easy workaround here in creating a unique ID for each uh, of the different criteria sets so uh, all you really have to do is do equal and then you'll just reference the cell and then you're gonna hit the and symbol and then I'm gonna uh, do quotation marks and a space and and then we'll do another and and the location of the state so that gives us John Florida and, and you'll see the gap in there or the space in there and that's just from that quotation mark space quotation mark if you want to do multiple criteria even more than just the two you can go ahead and do that or you can enter, enter another special character if, if you find that it's not pulling correctly but it should should work and is is very easy to use very uh, intuitive so we'll just go ahead and, and pull this formula down so we have all of that data there and then now say we want to just look up Joan from Connecticut and that's we just want to know if she has completed her training in Connecticut so now all we have to do is just a basic VLOOKUP function in, in uh, Google Sheets here and we'll click on uh, so to the left that's what we want to reference here and then we're gonna select our table array and then we'll hit another comma and then index so index is the the number of column that we want the, the VLOOKUP to retrieve the data from so that would be column number four and something else I should mention is I put the unique ID to the left of the name in the state that's just because with VLOOKUPs you want that uh, that search key to be on the far left side of the, the table there so and again it's just going to pull the data from column four and then I'm going to just do false because we just want an exact answer here so go ahead and put enter and then it's going to generate did Joanne in Connecticut complete the training and so we see that it is yes but let's see about uh, Michael in Connecticut let's see if he was able to do it and so we'll see that it's no there so again very easy to do you can even break it out in different ways so that it, it does look a little funny Michael Connecticut you can make it a little bit more easier to read in different ways but just wanted to share the gist of of what you need to do in order to use a VLOOKUP and search multiple criteria here so uh, I hope this is helpful please let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns and would be happy to to discuss those and uh, please let me know if there's any other video that you'd like to see and please remember to subscribe to the excel guy thanks and have a great day